Stuart Broad buries the hatchet with former England captain Michael Vaughan. Stuart Broad insists he has buried the hatchet with Michael Vaughan after the former England captain called for him to be dropped. Following England's defeat to Pakistan at Lords in the first test of the summer, Vaughan suggested Broad or James Anderson should have been axed. Anderson held his own in Australia and New Zealand over the winter but Broad was far from at his best as Joe Root's side lost the Ashes 4-0. Moeen and Morgan punish Australia, for talking points as England win series opener Darren Lehman responds to England fans taunting Australia over ball tampering opinion ball tampering bans and injury blows, do Australia stand a chance against England? But it finally clicked for Broad at Headley in the second Pakistan test and he claimed match figures of 666 as England bounced back to draw the series 1-1. I was slightly surprised, at the comments, and I didn't feel they were massively justified, Broad, who has 417 test wickets to his name, told Sky Sports. But I have spoken to Michael and we are fine now. I like punditry. I understand that when players aren't performing or are under pressure that you get the full force, while I know everyone has got a job to do in the media. But I felt like I had bowled pretty well at Lords and had come off an OK tour personally in New Zealand. I then ended up bowling nicely at Headingley to help us win. I felt in good rhythm and like I was making chances. Since February I have got something like 32 wickets at 16 in test matches in Division 1 County Championship cricket, so that is a really good turnaround. I don't think you can let comments affect you too much as then you are not doing your job properly. Plus, in an England changing room, someone is being talked about positively or negatively at every stage. Sangakara and Bonting at Sky Sports hash England vs hash Australia a post shared by Stuart Broad, at Stuart Broad 8, on June 13, 2018 at 8.04 a.m. PDT Chitishwar Pujara reveals how India plan to stop England star Joseph Butler Sachin Tendulkar sends passionate message to the ICC after Scotland stun England England captain Owen Morgan reacts to shock Scotland defeat Broad who was part of Sky Sports' commentary team for the first one-day international against Australia on Wednesday, added, Part and parcel of being an international sportsman is dealing with fair or unfair criticism and also when you are on the back pages when you are performing. You tend to go through the same journey as a player, built up before you make your debut, with people analyzing your strengths and best performance, and then, when you have a bad game, which every player goes through. Analysis of weaknesses and what's the matter technically. You have to be able to pull through both of those. You have to deal with your emotions and not spike too much on the graph, not get too elated with the highs or too down with the lows. More, Darren Lehman responds to England fans taunting Australia over ball tampering.